Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Michael Lloyd. I am the CEO and one of the co-founders of Dope Coffee Company. Today, I'm going to give you a presentation about Dope Coffee Company as we seek to raise capital in order to grow our venture. Dope Coffee Company uh, is a specialty coffee company, and we have a big vision. A huge part of our vision is to be a brand that communities of color and people who really value cultural diversity will look at us as the go-to, okay? And we do that uh, in a very simple way, by creating specialty coffee products for the culture. And when I say for the culture, I mean for a culture of people who can appreciate black American culture, for people who can appreciate color acceptance, diversity, and people who can appreciate the diversity within the coffee industry. Now, the specialty coffee market is, is big. It's currently valued at 48 billion, or excuse me, the coffee market is valued at 48 billion. And in the US, roughly 55% of that market is in the specialty coffee uh, sector. Uh, what's really important about those, those two numbers is that A, we have the ability to approach a massive audience. And when you look at our brand, even though we focus primarily on uh, black culture, the entire industry, uh, which is accepting of our branding, um, should be addressable. But immediately addressable um, is the blue ocean market of black American coffee drinkers, and that's valued at roughly $3.5 billion, and no one's currently talking to them. So this is what the industry looks like. Uh, the major players uh, are, are, are the big folks in, in the drink game. Coca-Cola, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, and Nestle. Okay, and these companies are growing at a very rapid rate. And if you look at a company like Nestle, for example, who just purchased Blue Bottle for roughly a billion dollars, you'll see that they're growing their brands through partnerships and acquisitions. And this is where Dope Coffee is deliberately seeking to become one of these specialty coffee purveyors that can then partner or be acquired at the highest levels by one of these key players. Now here are the challenges in the specialty coffee industry. Um, as a black American and as a person who loves specialty coffee, it is clear to me and to others that the specialty coffee industry does not see people of color as our primary customer. Um, the branding, the models that they use, the, the environments and cafes, um, and even just right down to the taste of the coffee, these are things that people of color are just not attracted to. And this accounts for sort of the mindset that black people don't drink coffee. Uh, but we do. Uh, we just have certain taste preferences, uh, certain cultural preferences. And this is where dope coffee really uh, has an opportunity to go into a market that no one at the high level has really addressed um, and target black and brown customers and target people of color. Um, while at the same time, understanding that our current customer base is roughly 70% uh, non-black. So that's whites, Asians, and Latinos, and we still want to appeal to them at the highest levels. Um, our approach is to first be re relatable, okay? And, and we want to show and be very deliberate about showing uh, imagery of people of color along with specialty coffee. This is imagery that doesn't currently exist in the specialty coffee market. Um, next, it's curated by the culture. We don't just make products in a vacuum and say that the culture is going to love them. We test and refine repeatedly with our target customer base. So we make sure that we address their needs and wants. Uh, and finally, uh, people love us. All right. We are accepted within this culture. Uh, Dope Coffee is uh, headquartered here in Atlanta, Georgia. And everywhere we go, we get a high level of acceptance with our branding. Uh, additionally, Dope Coffee uh, is a very special company. We have the ability to internally develop all of our own products. Uh, Michelle, who is our uh, CXO and our lead product developer, um, has been in the specialty coffee game for roughly five years. Uh, she has developed award-winning menus uh, in North Carolina. She's assisted with menu development here in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, she's a drink designer um, and a product developer by nature. Um, and we just really have the ability to roll out an, our initial set of products, but then expand very quickly beyond that once the market accepts our initial product entries. Um, we can go into other coffee-based products and coffee-based additives such as sweeteners, um, and we even have a vegan creamer that is uh, coffee-based. So we also did a live taste test, and we, still, and we do live taste tests. Um, and every time we go out and we talk to real people, especially when we talk to black people and they taste their products, they, they typically re react in a way that 
Um, it is something you haven't tasted, and I'll show you a small clip here. But you can watch this longer video at any time if you want to later. So Yana's gonna try our Ethiopian ice mocha. She's gonna try, oh, she smelled it. Wow. Exactly, that's why I wanted you to try it on camera. It's very flavorful, wow. Very flavorful, so yeah, I, yeah the ice mocha. What do you think, what do you think about it? This is good. It's good, you this like it? It's very good, it's nice, it's strong. Yes. It gives that good sense. Okay. Do you guys normally drink black coffee? Yeah. Okay. I don't. You do? I don't. So as you can see, um, they love our products. And, and one lady even went so far as to say it sets a new standard. And this is, this is what you should expect with Dope Coffee because we go very deeply in our products. All right. So we have great products, but it's really about how to sell them. And with Dope Coffee, what we're, what we're doing is we have a dual uh, revenue approach. That is the primary... Um, nuts and bolts of dope coffee is e-commerce first. Okay, we have to be national. We have to have a strategy that allows us to acquire um, as many customers, customers as possible, and that means using the internet first. Okay, we've already established three of our primary sales channels, which are Shopify, Facebook, and Instagram, and then early next year, we're going to go into Amazon. Uh, the goal is to create our e-commerce experience that is similar um, and as appealing as what a dope coffee cafe will be uh, in person. Um, again, these sites and our website, it should look and feel very black, right? It, like people should come to our site and see themselves. Um, next, we have strategic brick and mortar. Sorry, we are not going to become uh, the next big chain of, uh, of coffee shops. That is not our goal here. However, brick and mortar still plays a very huge role and what we're doing very similar to uh, how Amazon is now in the Whole Foods market. We want to use these brick and mortars, A, as flagships, right? Really as showcase pieces to say, this is what Dope Coffee is, this is the branding, and this is how we immerse ourselves in the culture. But they're really marketing funnels. And we need to bring customers in our doors so that we bring them into our list, so that we bring them into our user base. Um, and these stores really become the, the, the anchor, right? And what brings people initially to Dope Coffee. And then we convert them to online customers so we stay and maximize the lifetime value of those customers. Um, the stores will also provide traction um, and, 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 and revenues that we need to get the company off the ground and keep self-sustaining very quickly. So we got two, uh, two distinct phases that we need to go through here over the next year. Um, and this is really how we get to the volume numbers that we're talking about when we say we want to be a multi-million dollar company here very shortly. Uh, phase one is the startup phase. Uh, this is where we do all the, all the branding. This is where we, it's the things that people mostly think of as fun. When we start bottling and bagging our own products and we're shipping them off on our own and when we're creating our website, we're mostly done with this startup phase. Uh, we still have to get into our first brick and mortar here in Atlanta, which is coming soon. But the next phase is to scale. OK, and step one for us is raising more capital. We need to be able to get outside of the small bubble that we've created uh, around ourselves with Dope Coffee and, and tell everyone really to tell America. Um, so we need to raise capital first, um, secure local distribution, which which means we're getting our products into as many places in the local Atlanta market as possible, because we need to saturate this market so that we own the Atlanta coffee culture. Um, next, we'll just go straight into a national marketing campaign. Um, and we've worked, we're working with current distributors who are trying to place our products nationally for us. And then, as I stated before, really engage with strategic partners in order to grow our reach and, cap and our, uh, our reach beyond our current capability. So the name of the game is really acquiring customers. And the way that we're going to go about creating customers uh, primarily is through content marketing. OK, we've we've watched. The lessons of other companies spend you know hundreds of thousands of dollars on marketing and in, in, in order to just lose that dope coffee is a company of creatives all right everyone in this company has the ability to record music video podcast graphic design uh dj we kind of we do it all and we're going to take those skills and push out a very high volume content marketing strategy that's going to be led by myself uh, as the host of a podcast called Talk. And the first thing we want to do is get people to talk over coffee about some of these very same issues that we're talking about and why Dope Coffee exists. We've also hired a creative director who is going to specifically work on content marketing. 
Um, and we have a program that we've already started, which is called the Dope Coffee Spotlight, which is where we co-brand co events with local ATL partners in order to continue expanding our market, but also co-create content that will allow us to have that evergreen content that keeps acquiring new customers forever. Next, we're gonna go on a tour. Um, this is a tour of Miami, Charlotte, DC, um, and there are other cities beyond that where we're gonna take our, our pop-up marketing trailer. Uh, this is a full service coffee trailer that our team built. We're very proud of it and we're ready to hit the world with it. And in every place that we go, we're gonna expand Dope Coffee's reach, grow our audience base, and convert those customers into sales. Um, next, we have digital advertising. Uh, we've prepared an ad set um, that we think that we've, we've tested, um, that we've targeted specifically uh, in, in ad sets that convert. Uh, we need to, again, raise capital so we can run these at a much higher scale. This is what our financial projections look like over year one through year three. Uh, we got to these numbers as a combination of our e-commerce revenues as well as our brick and mortar revenues. Beyond year three, we think that there is room for really exponential and explosive growth throughout the company. And so Dope Coffee is a company that can really go the distance in terms of generating the types of revenues that will allow us to be acquired later on uh, by a larger partner. All right, here's our timeline. Um, early 2019 is when we really started the brand. As we got into quarter two and quarter three, uh, we started our e-commerce and our pop-up operations, and we're gonna continue those. But the main thing is to finish strong during quarter four. We have our seasonal sales launch. This is the first time we're gonna get to sell products around the holiday Christmas season. Uh, this will be big for us. We're looking to pull in big revenues here to really uh, stabilize the company and give us a boost heading into quarter one of 2020. Um, we do have uh, plans to either launch our own roastery or partner with a local roastery that we're in talks with here in Atlanta. Um, and a lot of that depends on how our fundraise goes. Exit strategy. Um, we are being very deliberate and very aggressive about positioning this company so that it is prepared um, to exit in the next three to five years. And what that does, it means doing all the correct actions now uh, so that we're prepared um, for a potential merger or acquisition with some of those key partners and industry leaders um, at the appropriate time. So here's our basic investment offer. Uh, Dope Coffee is seeking to raise $120,000 um, and that's over the next six months. We have a minimum investment point of $3,000. And the mechanism that we're offering is a convertible note. And the convertible note is uh, it's essentially it's a debt-based uh, uh, security. And it will convert into equity as we go into our next funding round. So here are the basic uh, notes of this or the basic details of the convertible note. We're looking for a 24-month maturation period. We're going to give you a 10% discount on your equity when it converts, and we're going to pay you 10% interest, which, which will be rolled into your um, equity conversion at the time that that note converts. Here's some of the basic benefits. Um, these investments to your right are in $1,000 increments. So for $3,000, you'll get two tickets to our launch party. Uh, you get your first drinks on us free. And we'll give you a year quarterly subscription and coffee. And as you can see, those perks simply go up as you go um, higher into the five, ten, and twenty thousand dollar investment range. Here's a bit of information about us as the founders. Um, my name is Mike Lloyd. I'm the CEO. I've run coffee shops for the past four years. Uh, generated 800k in revenues without any additional help. I've spoken about Michelle. Uh, Michelle is a flavorist, a chef, and a dietitian. She is really the brains of this operation. She has the ability to create products um, that will scale, to create products that will penetrate the market and really connect and resonate with people. Uh, Julius is a college um, friend and a, another co-founder of the company who has a brilliant mind for e-commerce and strategic thinking. Uh, Julius is primarily going to be tasked with how the company grows. Uh, especially digitally. So that's uh, all the information that I have for you in this presentation today. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Uh, you can reach me at my email address, which is michael at realdope.coffee. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation. 
And like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.